everybody and welcome back to my channel I was talking to one of my friends recently and she made a comment that she thought that PETA said it was okay for companies to use snail in their skincare and I I was like I don't think that's right and it got me into thinking to making this video and researching it more and I could not find any claims online on PETA or anything else that they approve the collection of snail mucin for um, products and I, I did find a couple different ways that companies online how they collect it and everything like that but I wanted to kind of go over the skincare aspect on how certain companies collect it, the benefits of it, the older methods, and then how it's helped my skincare routine and what changes I've seen and different ways that I've used it in a couple different ways. And snail mucin, I have notes in right in front of me because I wanted to be thorough for this. And snail mucin contains a glioprotein, which is a protein that absorbs water. The cells of the protein fill with moisture and that fills the cracks and the wrinkles in the skin, at least temporarily. And it also has hyaluronic acid and glycolic acid, which is really good for your skin. And I can say that's good for my, it's really good for dry skin. And I have dry skin, so I can say that. I'm not sure about oily skin or anything like that. I can just talk to what I've had happen to my skin. And some of the benefits that you will have are hydrating, smooths wrinkles, ac it helps with acne scars, and it improves your hyperpigmentation. Yes, 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 yes. So I've had all of those things happen. And some of the older methods that they used to do way back in the day to collect the snail mucin, they would put the snails in hot pots of water mixed with salt and vinegar to make the goo come out. An Italian lab developed a machine called an ozo snail saying the total health of the mollus and they said it didn't hurt the snails but obviously that did. But I did only find one company, a very good company, <laughs> and popular company that everyone in the Korean skincare game knows, CauseRx. They use the giant African snails for their products. They use a specialized company called Co-Seed Bow Farm, P-H-A-R-M, if you're interested in Googling it. And the snails are placed over a mesh in a dark and quiet room for 30 minutes to do whatever they're going to do. They just leave them be and let them do what they're going to do. In a dark and quiet room for 30 minutes, they're left alone and to freely roam the net, leaving their mucin in their trails. There is no external process applied to the snails or the mesh to force the use in production. They're just letting them do what they would normally do. And that's why I don't mind supporting the CauseRx company. I tried to find online, because one of the other brands that I use is Maison, and I couldn't find anywhere. I don't know if they use the same method as CauseRx or how they do it exactly. Um, I wish more companies would publish how their X getting the snail mucin. So I'm glad that CauseRx came out with this information and I'm a beauty nerd. So I found all of this interesting. And now I'm going to talk about the products that I use, what I've seen, the changes in my skincare and what changes I've seen since I started using it and what my skin was like before and all that. And before I had severe dry patches on my cheeks my whole entire life, I've never been able to cure my dry cheeks until I started snail skincare. And I've always had um, lines that were way worse up here. And I've always had redness in my cheeks. Like it was just red, red. I just thought that's the way God made me. And it would never go away no matter what I used. And I kind of had an uneven tone. And I always had breakouts right here. No matter what, if I changed my diet or anything, I would always have breakouts right here. <sighs> And I just think I was using products that were way too harsh for my skin. 
and I kind of dialed back and I switched everything to Korean skincare about a year and a half ago. So this October, it was around the fall, um, two years ago. So I'll be two years this coming fall, which is a long time from now. So it's been like a year and a half. And let's see this. Let's well, let me talk about the products first. Um, I've been using the Mizon Snail. I got the kit. I got all of this stuff. Let me start by saying I got everything off of, I got the Cosrx stuff off of Ulta and I got the Mizon stuff off of YesStyle.com. I'll put my link down below if you're interested in YesStyle. I like buying my stuff from there. It might take a while, but some of the stuff is hard to find, so I just order it from there because I know it's the real deal product. And the first thing is the Mizon. This is the Snail Repairing Foam Cleanser. The only thing I don't like about this product, it's a pain in the ass to get out of the tube. You're getting 2.02 .02 fluid ounces. You only need a pea amount. And I'm getting towards the end of this. Um, but this is what it looks like right here. It kind of looks like a thing. It's like a thick cream, but when you add water to this, it will foam up. And I just use it with my Foreo all over my face. It's non-drying. It leaves a healthy glow. I really like this product. And I got the kit when I first got into the snail. It came with this, the cream I'm going to talk about in a second, and the eye cream. I didn't like the eye cream. I thought it dried my under eyes and I just wasn't a fan. So I don't use that one anymore. So if you're dry skinned, I would recommend another eye cream, but I really like this. I'm pretty much almost out of that. And the next product that I'm going to talk about is from the same brand, Mizon. This next product is the multi-function formula all-in-one snail repair cream. I just finished my first jar. This is a nice glass jar. You're getting a lot of product. This is 2.53 fluid ounces. I think this is around $28 and you're getting a lot of product um, here. I just started using this new one this week. And it does have the snail mucin in it and it spreads. It's really moisturizing. I really like this. And uh, if you've been following my channel, I had a breast lift and a my implants out a couple months ago and nothing that I was using was working for my scars. And I loved how much this worked on my face. So I started putting it on my scars and it flattened them. Obviously I can't show that on YouTube, but I would highly recommend this for scars. I use this on my scar on my arm, which is fading a lot. It's really flattened them and it's a nice cream. So it like melds into your skin. So I use this as a scar cream too. And if you have acne scars on your face that you're having a hard time getting rid of, I put these on any acne marks that I have for a couple days, I'll put this on. And the good thing about this is it gets rid of your scars, but it doesn't dry out your skin. So that's why I've switched to this for all my acne scar stuff. I absolutely love this. And the last nail product that I use is the CauseRx Advanced Snail 96% Mucin Power Essence. I get this at Ulta or if there's a good deal at YesStyle, I'll get it from there. You are getting 3.38 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters. It just comes in this pump. And I probably use two pumps in the morning just to get all over my face. I'll show you what. This is one pump and it's pretty thick, but I love this stuff because it absorbs so quickly into the skin and it's really moisturizing. It's, it helps with my fine lines in the morning. It works well with any other moisturizer that I've tried it with. This, I use, a, I have like a handheld fan in my bathroom 
So I just do this for like less than a minute and then I go on directly with my moisturizer on top of this and I use this at night too. As you can see, I'm almost out, but it will take me quite a few months to go through this even though I use it twice a day. I'd say like four, four and a half, five months. Um, this will last you and at first I was only using this once a day and then I started to up it after I read a lot of claims. This stuff is amazing. I started using it twice a day because after I was using this for like a month, month and a half, the redness on my cheeks went from really bad to they're like 90% better. I'll try and find bef pictures of my cheeks of what they were before. And what they are now but the redness in my cheeks it's not bad at all and I'm pretty sure it was this product that helped with my redness yes I was grossed out when I put snail on my face at first a lot of my friends just can't they just can't do it but I've seen that the results that these can do this has helped my fine lines it's helped with the the flakiness in my cheeks that I have, it's gone. It's, it's gone. And this is, these are the only products that I've been doing. I've been doing, I should probably do an updated skincare routine to show everyone the products that I've been using, but I'm pretty sure this is for the redness in my cheeks and the flakiness, the dryness in my face, it's gone. And this is one of the products that I've been using. I've kind of been switching in and out some other things, but this stuff is amazing and it's cheap and it lasts a really long time. It's not like you're going to go, even if you use two, three pumps a day, you are twice a day, you're not going to go out of this like in a month or anything. So I love that stuff. Oh, and if I didn't mention, sometimes I will just use this as a spot treatment. I won't really put it all over my face unless I want to, which... I, I have a lot of face creams, but I like to use this one more as a spot treatment. Like I said, it's a really good spot treatment without drying you out. My face also became way brighter um, for a pale person. I'm like NC20, so I've always been kind of pale, but I've had a brighter, glowier kind of face. And my skin is a little bit softer. I always had like a weird, I think I have fungal, fungal acne going on up here. So I'm trying to take care of that. But for the most part, my fine lines are much better than they were before I started the snail in my routine. And like I said, I use that twice. I use the snail twice a day and I use this on my scars too sometimes. Um, they're both pretty good. And I think that's it for all of my snail notes. I just wanted to get the word out. If you are afraid to try snail, please give it a try. And don't just use it for like a week and be like, oh, it's not working. You have to give it a couple of months for it to work, especially for your dry cheeks and your redness. I would say give it two months before you um, get any theories from what it's doing for your skin and maybe try to chill and look at the products that you're putting on your skin like I was using pretty like peel pads and stuff on my skin that I thought that was going to help like my dryness and help I don't know what I thought I was doing but just look at the ingredients in your skincare products because some people, they just can't take the harshness in these ingredients that we're putting on our face. So just be more cognizant of what you're putting on your face. And I'll, I'll do an updated skincare AM and PM because I do different things for different parts of the day obviously please let me know what snail products you've been loving um i'd love to try new snail products i know there's more brands out there and i'll talk to you next time thanks remember to subscribe bye